Hel <gasps> oh, hi! Feeling it. Um, definitely feeling it. Anyone else feeling it? Anyone else feeling that? Yep. I almost feel like I need to get another one. For Parvati. <laughs> I wonder why she still uh, seems nervous, even though she's in that right armor. But, okay, look, seriously, I'm just admiring myself. Energy canister. Okay. Wait. That's not Chester's passcode. Oh! Is that the... that go? That's locked. Am um, is that the passcode for the door that's locked back? Oh, we got one of those. Um, here somewhere. Yes! Yes, it is! Excellent! And it had... Oh. Logic module. Got it. Nice. Oh, getting a lot more mods as well. Look at this. Right. So. Good to know. Okay. And then... That's the one you fixed. That's the one you fixed. That is the one you fixed. Examine. Borrowed a copy of Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think volume three needs something to read down in the pit. Okay, so it's in the pit. As it would be. Okay. Self-diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the Spacer's choice. Okay then. This is odd. Why aren't you attacking? You made it out of the junkyard. Yes, you did. Well done. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. Right. Why are you not attacking? Hostile actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion. All hostile Auto mechanicals must be defective in compliance with Spacer's Choice policy. All defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. So you want me to help? You want to help me destroy the other mechanicals? Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Mechanicide. Uh. I'm not sure about this. Entering because... standby mode. Awaiting further instruction. Jeremy's gonna get himself killed. Yeah, huh? Oh. Yeah, this might not seem like the best moment, but Thomas seemed very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Yeah. Uh, the tool he was thinking with was definitely not a wrench. Yeah, he got a... Yeah, are you sure he nearly fell over when he saw you? He never told me a word to that effect. And, and since he didn't, I didn't have to say nothing about being... About feeling different. And nothing had to get weird. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Okay. 
Yep, uh, why am I wanting to talk to you about your dad and your mother? No, never mind. Let's go back to it. You're right, you're absolutely right. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking I don't want to get Jeremy killed here, really. That's sort of basically... Okay, right, so this takes us back over there, right. And we need another card for this. Wait, isn't that where we were? No, it's not. Okay, right. So, there is one of the switches down here, I believe. There. Okay. Just two more. Yep, just What will happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the Vale? They'll have no choice but to go back to the Vale. Because otherwise they'll uh, they'll run out of power. Go away, Phantom. Right. Okay then. Um. They will be unhappy. Well, let's face it. That's pretty much going to go for absolutely everybody. What am I wearing? <laughs> right. Um. I am just checking everywhere for. Ooh. Yeah, no, we don't have we don't have the stuff to hack through there. We'll do that in a minute. I want to go and talk to the boys. No, no, no! Just leave me alone. Down below. You wish you could take Jeremy onto the ship. Yeah, no, it seems a bit wrong that we can't bring Jeremy. I'm like, I'm like, really, really liking the idea of, of, of our own Jeremy on the ship. Go away, Phantom. Yeah, hi, hi, Dreventic. But you know what's not happening this time? I'm not going to be scared of robots. No. Go away, Phantom. Ah. Uh, I'm just trying to find out what I'm dealing with. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking around to see the sort of person I'm dealing with. I'm not looting ever. Ooh, impact. No, 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 just leave me alone. There you go. Excuse me. Hello, Higgins. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. Right. Great, another lunatic. Okay, I am not trying to hurt you. Sneak 30, I wasn't trying to startle you. Most people don't see me coming. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? Yes. The Phantom's never talked before. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. Yeah, that was a bad see? idea. See, Higgins, this is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. <sighs> you're eating Sprats. No, you're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Yeah, yeah. If you've got to add a middle initial to remind yourself that you're not nuts, you are so nuts, it's just not even worth thinking about it. You're, you're gonzo. Uh, how long have you been down? What is it you do here? Yes. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. That's nice. Oh, you were an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Okay. Uh, if you worked on the mechanicals, you not, must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Sweet. Uh, I can deal with the mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? Yes. Yes. I love the fact that there is a lie that requires 70, and that that is Space's choice sent me here to rescue you. You've got to be a pretty good liar to pull that one off. You know, <laughs> you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. Okay. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. 
There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Okay. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, they do. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. Oh, yeah. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Nice. Here, let me just write it down for you. Yes, excellent. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's, it's not that I don't care about your, uh, what happens to you, but obviously I need to hurry as quickly as possible to defeat the robot menace. Uh, now by quickly, I mean as quickly as running around the wrong direction. But I've actually usually got an excellent sense of direction. I, I have this odd ability to find places I should not know the location of. But I also have the odd ability to get completely lost in a small square room. Um, okay. All at the same time. It's it's an interesting talent. I'm trying to remember where the hell it was up here. It was. Okay. Modify behavior. Select new mode. Ooh, what is the new mode? No, I can't do that. Select new targets. Define intruders. Define intruders as space of choice or some mechanicals. Yay! This is why I didn't want to send Jeremy in. Return to root. Exit. Yay! Kill yourselves! And uh, now I need to go back down. Right. Okay. So. Where the hell are we going? I'm semi-lost. We went down there. That's not where we're going. Yeah, no. Definitely sort of forgotten where the hell I'm supposed to be going. I, I want to be getting... Why are we getting down there somehow? So how was this supposed to be doing that? Yep, definitely sort of lost. Hmm. This just goes down. Right, that's Jeremy. That's the toilets. Definitely don't want to be going there. And we definitely don't want to be going there. I am now officially going around in circles. So how the hell did I get... I, I, I opened a door. I did open the door and got somewhere. Oh, hello. Seriously, where the hell am I going? I'm actually completely and utterly lost. Was it... We had to go up here and then... No, this is... Oh, yeah, this is like... This is me being, like, beyond lost. I've got to get further in there, and I'm now actually going completely the opposite direction to where I'm supposed to be going. Ah. Uh. Second level of the core, or was it second level of the core thing? Could be, could be, could be. So I go into here, and then go, go down one level, and there was a door, was there? Yeah, 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 that. Yes! Here. Here it is. Right. And this one is, yeah, okay. Mine's steam. You're liable to get solved. Alright, well, I'm gonna sneak. That took a lot of ammunition to kill. It was completely unnecessary, but it felt pretty damned good. Uh, okay. Engineering, shut off the steam release valves. Excellent. Uh, I mean, it's not like I need to worry about... <gasps> A bench! Nice. 
Oh, this just would have been an easy way to get here. I don't really need to worry about that, do I? No, I do not. Okay. Um. Repair. That doesn't need the repair. That nothing really. Oh, I don't know. That, that could probably do with a bit of repairing, couldn't it? That could do with a bit of repairing. And you know what? I'm going to repair that. I'm going to store it, but I, I kind of want to keep it in a decent condition. All right, let's try Blad on Stick and see if that gets any better. Uh, modify. Oh, wow, I've got too many weapons to even think of now. Um, oh, let's repair armor. Don't need to repair that too much. Okay, so I'm going to break down. What am I going to break down? What do I not need? Um, probably any of these tech skills. We'll keep that one. We'll keep that one. Let's break that down. Oh, I'm not breaking down her overalls. It's just, you know, got to keep those for old time's sake. One-handed toss ball blocker. No, thank you. No. That's a normal telescope. Right, so we're getting a lot of weapon parts at least. Auto mag pistol. Don't think I'm gonna keep. Ha right, that one. Does one of these have modifications? Why? No, I, have I got it? Oh god, have, have I done it again? Have I have I junked? Okay. I thought I had one with mods on it. I thought I did have one with mods on it, right? That's a level 5. That's a level 5. Wait a minute. That's got two mod spots. <clears throat> That's got two mod spots. I, I I swear there were mods on them. I can break down one of the riot armors. There were mods on these. Why? Where are... I did, I put the, and I don't think I've broken them down. But it's even weirder is they don't always seem to show up. I mean, that's only got one mod slot shown. I'm really, really freaking out about this. I, I feel like something is going on a bit. Something, something seems to be uh, a little off. Right, let's... See, no, that's got two mods on it! That one has got two mods on it. Wait. Have I given that one to Parvati? Yes, that's Parvati's! I don't think Parvati actually needs a gyro site. I really don't think she does. Um, I think, if anything, what you want with, uh, with them is to put on things that are... Um... Does she need to reload? Does she even need to reload? She might. Um, all right. I am going to break. I can't break down her weapon, right? Can I break down her weapon? I don't think I can break down her weapon. So I think it's safe for me to. There's definitely some UI weirdness. So I can't. Right, that, that one I don't want to break down. I'm going to break down. <sighs> Definitely. Okay. So, I've now got one that's modded, one that's not. Now, I can break down the one that's not modded as well. Uh, where is it? It's this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, uh, break down, break down, break down, break down. That one. All right. And then if I modify, I should still be able to modify hers. Not that one, because it's already got it. Right. So, I can modify it with magnum or plasma or, ooh, not corrosion, though. Like, for example, I could give her plasma. She'll do more damage against creatures. Which might be good. And then on the sights, I can give her extendo sight. Or j no, I think the sights, I don't think she needs it. Right, so there you go. She's going to do plasma with that. Right. 
Um, okay, I, I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. But I do want... What can I put on the light machine gun? Oh, corrosion. Cor I don't... I feel like I want a heavy machine gun for corrosion. I feel like I want a heavy machine gun for corrosion. Um, or something else. You know, I don't know what I want corrosion for. But I don't think I want to put it on a light machine gun. So, I'm just going to put Magnum on it for now. I can I also want to... I want to save the corrosive ones for the highest tier weapons. You know the ones that the, the can have, like, maximum number of mods on. Alright, yeah. That's, uh... Yep, one to go. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Well, they've got no choice but to leave and go to... System. Incoming! Yeah, I mean, that really is like... That would have been quicker to just stab it with my pokey stick. I just... I, I needed to see. I needed to see. Um... I mean, I'm not saying it's not a, a, a great weapon. It kind of is. I'm thinking, though, like, if maybe if I put, like, corrosive on, on a, on a big heavy weapon at some point in the future, I'll be able to use it against armored things. Maybe. Okay. And... All right. So... We came to... Oh, hello. Well, I think most of it's because these things are not affected by bullets very much. I think they are far more affected by the uh, the the weapons I've been using so far. So it's more a matter of a just it's it's you know, if I'd have shot it if I'd have shot it with this, it would be just as bad. This not this is actually a really good. This one is the better one to shoot the uh, auto mechanicals with. Oh wait a minute, are those heavy rounds? Does it use heavy rounds? No, it uses light rounds. That uses energy rounds, that's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably should do a bit of reload. I'm not hearing very good reload sounds. And... Oh, mag 2. Alright. Something else up there. Where does this take us? That's the main office thing. Got it. Yes. Now we can move around freely when we come back. Because we are going to come back, I think. Uh, did I find the book? Did I find the book? Did I? F I think I did. The last. I'm not sure what the right is. All I know is the decision's final. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, journal. Right. We we will do that in a minute. Divert the power. Die robot. Head back with the logic module for Ludwig. Frightened engineer. Um. Have I got all three? No. I need to get one more. I've. Wait a minute, did I get the one? I got the one downstairs. Yes, I did. Fistful of dollars. Right. Let's let's get back to town now. And um Yeah, let's get back to town. Sort all these things out, then come back and make a decision. Yep. I think that's probably the wisest thing to do. Need the one from the cannery still. Yes. I think I even remember where it was. So we now have all of the bounties given in. We've returned the logic module to Ludwig. We've got all of the books for Thomas. Thomas, right. And I don't believe there are any... Oh, and we, re we, re we returned the medicine. I do not believe there are any other outstanding things for us to do. We're going to go and choose who to give power to and who to let, you know. 
have a miserable existence, and then try to convince the miserable ones to join the other ones. Honestly, I'm really torn on this in, in many, many ways, because the botanical lab just seems nicer, but honestly, it does not look big enough for every single solitary person in that town. That town's like five times bigger than this, so I don't even know where they would put the, the people. I don't know where they'd put them at all. Plus, there's no wall. There is no wall. The town is already miserable. It is, but like, you know, if they get full power and these workers returned, maybe they wouldn't be miserable. Whereas if we get full power here and sent all the workers from Edgewater here, would they be that happy considering the cramped quarters they'd all be living in? And the fact that they don't have a wall and there'd be marauders? Like, I don't know. Little, 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 little unsure. Any luck I'm finding one of those going rings? to hope Parvati makes a decision for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, today's your lucky day. I've got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Kill everyone, get all the XP. Part two. Found it in the cannery. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. I'd rather you didn't. Hold on, I've got more for you. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Trying not to. Uh, elusive part three. Someone stash it away aside the old geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Electrocharged surface. Ooh! Okay, no, no, no. That's, that's, um... That is a, um... Boy, here, anyway, let's have a look at this. Is this, that's, uh... Ooh. Applies electrocharge to the armor's exterior, occasionally shocking an attacker who comes into contact with it. <sighs> oh, I just don't know whether to put this on this particular piece of armor, or whether I should wait for something better. Oh! Oh! Yes! Just decisions, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. When talking of decisions, we now have to ha make a decision. Who gets the power? Where do we want to try and merge the people? Parvati has been brainwashed her whole life. Not really. Parvati seems to be one of the few people that actually has independent thought processes. She disagrees with quite a lot of people. If you think about it, she disagreed with Adelaide. She disagrees with Thompson. She disagrees with Max. She's actually just one of these people that's, um, for all of her shyness, kind of strong-minded and opinionated in a polite, nervous kind of way. And of everyone else you've met, She's the only one who actually seems to have a decent shred of compassion in her. That's not true. Adelaide does as well. But some of the all of compassion is the wrong way to think of it. Um, she's the only one who seems vaguely sensible to me. She makes more sense than absolutely everybody else that you meet. You know, she just she just does. So over here. All right, let's just double check the journal. Double, double check in the journal. Stranger in a strange land. Uh, divert power from the geothermal plant. Right, now comes the power. Right. Um, yes. We do this, there's no going back. I know, I know. Hey, mister. Stop Look, I mister. know you want your power regulator and all, but I just got to ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I would not mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. 
We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. No, I agree. I, so I, I, Reed tells me Edgewater's going to die without workers and power. So we can we can almost certainly get all of the, the workers back at the Botanical Garden to go back once we divert the power. Um, but... Yeah, I mean... Reed tells me Edgewater's going to die without workers and power. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Yeah. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. No, I mean, I, 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 I get it. The deserters of a community I can't just destroy what they built. Mm. I mean, no. The deserters of a community, I'd rather not destroy what they built. I'd rather not. What I, what I really would like to do here is what I tend to call the sensible thing. I like to leave power going to both places and then let the two sides try and figure it out together. Probably by putting you in charge. Then find some way to get a spaceship to come here, bring me the part I need, fix my ship and be on my way. That, to me, is the sensible thing. Unfortunately, this is not a sensible universe. So I think you're right. We're probably going to have to put the power to Edgewater, convince Adelaide's group to go back there, and then get off this planet and find Spacer's Choice and, you know, give them a change of management is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, uh, yeah. I just, I kind of want to know what you say if I say the deserters are a community, I can't just destroy what they built. But I can. I just don't want to destroy what they built. I don't like that line. I want to say the deserters are a community, I don't want to destroy what they built. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to try that. Miss McDevitt's been using corpses in her fertilizer. The thought just makes my skin crawl. Sure, she's found a solution, but it ain't exactly pleasant. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? No, I, I think you're right. I actually think you're right. I think she's got... She's she's a little she is a little angry and she's not thinking straight. Um whilst I like her way more than I like Tobson, I actually think she's letting her emotions control her. He's letting logic control him, even if it's twisted, heartless, cruel logic. So I get what you're saying. I do get what you're saying. Um, someone, what is it, someone says, Pavati seems like she's trying to please everybody. Not really, though. She'd like to please everyone, but she did just say, direct the power to Edgewater. So she knows she's not going to please everyone. She may seem timid, she may seem indecisive, but in the end, she spoke up and said, here's what I think you should do. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just, I felt like I had to say something. She may not be strong enough to actually... No, I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. You should speak more often. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I... No one's ever told me those words in that order. You think making the people of Edgewater get out from the company propaganda and see how good the deserters have it is the best call in the long run? Well, no, 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 no. You can get them from out of the propaganda of the company in many, many other ways. 
while still leaving them a wall. You get her reasoning, you just think she's wrong. Oh, okay, that's just one thing. Redirect power. Um, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Redirect power to edge water. One. I'm going to click on you. Return to route. Exit. Okay. Let's go and speak to Adelaide and give her the good news. Because I'm sure she's going to be pleased as punch. So, right, yeah, everybody's like... Hanging around, being not very happy. Right. So, Adelaide. Uh, hi! That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. No, you wouldn't. This is all you're doing. Because you can't. Cutting off my power, killing yes. off my garden. Yes. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. And you will have to move to Edgeport. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Because I had no choice. I wanted the game to progress. Uh, people need... Reed needs his people back. This isn't personal. I need your power regression. Reed needs his people back to save Edgewater. There you go. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. No. Go and talk to them. I want go you to go to there. and Thomas. Teach them how Look to make food properly. And tell them their life here is over. And the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. True. That is actually you true. Tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Right. Will do. Uh, I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. Yeah, I will talk to Reed. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? No, 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 no. This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. See, this is the thing with you. That's the thing with you. Even if it was for the good of absolutely everybody, you wouldn't you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't go to Edgewater and help Thompson find a way to make food that won't kill people. You won't do that for the good of everyone. You won't sacrifice your pride for the good of everyone. Uh... What happened? Sprat fell into a transformer again? Okay. Grace. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. There's nothing left for you here. It's time to go back to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back. But I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with Topson and hope he takes us back. Oh, he will. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us again. Leave Adelaine behind, then. Edgewater needs you back. Don't do anything hastily. I'm going to talk Reed into stepping down. Yes, I am. Sure. Suit yourself. I'll be here. Yeah. All right. Maybe we should do that first. Uh... Don't see why Thomas can't just get the generator up and running. Something I can help you with? Uh, no. Where, where is... Thomas! Right. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Um, you won't survive without power. It's time to go back to Edgewater. I've been thinking about going back. 
I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. No, right, okay. Don't work at the cannery. You wanted to be an engineer. You wanted to be an engineer. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater and... I'm as good as dead to her. Stay put. I'm gonna talk to Reed into stepping down. You know where to find me. Uh, right. I'm off. Right, let's go and talk to Reed and hope... He is more reasonable than Adelaide and that he's willing to put his people before the corporate structure. Where are they getting all of these? Here we go. Oh! Okay. Nice! <laughs> I love the fact that she runs over and slams. Oh! Ow! What? Really? Pop Batty? What are you doing? Ow. Could you not punch the explodey things? If at all possible, is our. Ringing. All right. Oy. Oh dear. Well, if Reed is a sociopath, he'll refuse to step down for the good of his people. If he's a sociopath that cares nothing for anybody, he will refuse to step down for his people because he will not relinquish the power. So I guess we'll find out soon. Okay. I think if you if you put um, Adelaide in charge, she would not really be uh, towing the company line. I think she'd be doing things her way. Um, and um, it doesn't really matter anyway, because my intention is to Put an end to the company lion. Yes, indeed. I, Zark of Chaos, am going to sow a little chaos. Right. Read. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Um... I spoke to Adelaide, she won't come back as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. Okay. A change of leadership might be what this town needs. I am a Spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home. Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with the plague. They're not! I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. This town doesn't eat anything but salt tuna. Of course you're going to get sick. Have you people ever eaten an actual vegetable? Right, yeah, no, it's what you're eating that's killing you. You are disparaging our parent company, and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. I'm pretty sure it's your food that's making you sick. You need Adelaide's garden. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us. 
So the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. That means food for all of your people. They won't get sick. And everything will be, well, better than when everyone was sick. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Yeah, it, it involves really complicated maths. <laughs> but it works. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. You don't have to do this. This can't be easy for you. What are, you, what are your plans, out of curiosity? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. This can't be easy. Oh, uh, why not? No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. Uh, you won't last outside the walls, you do know that. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. Yeah, okay. This can't be easy for you, I guess. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. All right, then, well, take care. You don't have to do this, you know. Well, he does, he has to leave. So, take care. Yep. He may be a corporate tool, but he puts his people before himself. He's volunteering, essentially, to go out and die so that his people can live and not be sick. That does not sound like a sociopath to me. It sounds like someone who's been horribly programmed by their corporate propaganda, but it still sounds like someone who actually cares about his people. Okay, let's talk to Adelaide first. Okay. Adelaide. Look at that. The snakes come back. I've talked, to Reed. I've talked Reed into leaving. You can go back to Edgewater, show them how to make food, Make everyone happy. Your ear is glowing. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Uh... Yeah, no, I'm not. Uh, you, 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 you. <laughs> Maybe I should wait till they all disappear before I start. Okay, I'm going to take the power regulator. <laughs> But maybe I should uh, wait for them all to sort of let you know be somewhere else before I start looting everything. <laughs> you know, just err on the side of caution, so to speak. Right. Hope Adelaide's okay. Okay. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. Okay. Adelaide's agreed to go back to Edgewater. Didn't think she'd go back so long as Reed was still running the place. Something must have changed. If Adelaide's going back to Edgewater, we'll follow her. Excellent. 
What? Do I have to need to speak to Thomas as well? Uh, okay. I'm glad Adelaide's coming back to town with us. With Reed gone, we're gonna need her leadership. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's that's us done then. Parvati. We can now. We found a spoiler. Wait. Hello. Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. Yeah, I have no idea what she's going to do with her life, but uh, I can't imagine it's going to be a particularly good thing. 